And his Wizzo, Mark Garcia, also a lieutenant, will put the Super Hornet through a series of flight demonstrations and maneuvers, putting the Hornet at the edges of its flight envelope. It is powered by two General Electric F414 engines, generating 42,000 pounds of thrust. As they release the brakes, I want you to watch and listen to the power of this. This is one of my favorite parts. The Hornet Dano. The right down there. On runway five. Runway five right. Here they are. No, like they're they're doing a uh, a uh, tactical demo.
Many, to be honest, because Willow Grove closed, so the Marines are na and Navy aren't there anymore. I went to, I used to go to the ones in uh, Westchester to the helicopter shows. Well, you know, they don't they don't hold those shows anymore. So I really haven't been to a lot. This is this is my first in a long time. So now he's like this. He's He's slowly moving like that, and he's working that throttle. Now you weigh, the aircraft weighs how much right now? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that aircraft, basically the pilot doesn't have to fly. He actually can concentrate in the computer system, will detect like the decrease of lift, and it'll adjust the flaps according to how much lift he needs. So like when he was doing that, he just had his hands on the throttle and his other hand on the joystick. Hey, Dad. 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 
that there, that the, uh, what's it called, that the girl and the boy that's uh, basically sitting like right behind me and next to me is from Allentown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I watched one video where there was a VFA 106 gladiator demo and the pilot is from Allentown. So, Yeah. There's, it's either aviation ordnance men, which that's my cousin, or um, or EODs because they're specialized in handling explosives. So that's. That's who handles for the um, for the air shows. But for the Air Force, I'm not too sure. So definitely the Navy, yeah, it's EOD or it's Aviation Ordnance Man. But that mean the uh, the yellow truck. That's the that's the jet powered truck. That's basically two J seventy nines on the back of that. No, I think they're gonna do it in a bit. They're gonna have this F eighteen race. Oh, they're gonna race. You um, you wanna ask one of the uh, workers here when that when that's gonna occur. Awesome. From behind us. Here we go, Dad. To your dad. Yeah, but Dad, to your left. Camera's on. Here we go. And also watch this, Dad. He's gonna have. I wouldn't be able to fly for 24 hours and not stopping. Yeah, I, I would not. Be able to But if you, but like if you've ever been in the P3 over there, that aircraft has bunks in it. It's, it even has its own kitchen too. Yeah. But that's that's the aircraft you definitely. If you want to fly for 24 hours, you gotta be in because. Well, because when I was your age, this was that was the spark of my interest, and I have books at home I read, I watch YouTube videos. I basically have to know this for my job as a as an air museum staff member because my boss, even though we're volunteer, he actually quizzes us, and if we don't get a lot of stuff right, he's not a happy person. Oh yeah, if you want to be an air museum staff member, you gotta know. You don't have to know a lot for starting. Out. Yeah. Because also you have veterans that come in and some of them are really sensitive and they'll even... Like I remember one time I said something wrong to somebody, to a visitor. And uh, the Growler has the uh, pods on the wings. And also VFA, VFA squadrons don't fly Growlers. It's, it is VA, it's VAQ. Quite frankly, it's a small airport. And how many airplanes typically 
Something like afterburner air show or something like that. I would ask a, um, I would ask one of the people at like the 75th anniversary shirts like him about it. I'll tell you, that was... 